Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Matt Lucas and the champ, Stan Fairtex, in the house. What's up, guys? Really good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you too, James. Yeah. Andrew, Andrew. but, you know, Andrew. my middle name is James, so we're off to yeah. a strong start. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Andrew James. No worries. Uh, so, what is going on at Fairtex? You guys have a beautiful atmosphere over there. You've been there a long time, Stamp. Uh, what have you got going on? It seems like a really, really special time at the gym. Donny Fairtex, me, Konya, Ma, La Donny, Climi, Ligan, Tamala, you, Kaimoy. Yeah, now Fairtex have a lot of customer, and now a fighter have a lot of fight. Junior have a fight, Nong M have a fight. Uh, so let's have a fight to have a lot of fight, yeah. Everybody is very excited about your upcoming fight, and we just keep having really outstanding matchups added to the card. Let's talk about your fight first. Um, it's been coming for years, right? So, what was your first reaction when it finally got signed against Denise? รู้สึกยังไงว่าในที่สุดก็ได้ต่อยกันใช่มั้ยถูกต้องเวลาเซ็นซานยาคุณเคอะไรบ้างยาไอ yeah, I think is we have a we have to fight yeah because it's the same weight and I know she won on my belt she wanna be champion but I have to defend yes we we are friends but this friendship is behind so we 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 should to fight <laughs> Yeah, I think a lot of people are interested in the storyline. But what about in terms of the fight itself on a technical level? What kind of fight do you expect in terms of your skills versus her skills? I couldn't get a lie. Bang, get gap. Denise, Denise, me, Jude Kang, a lie. Jude on a lie. Couldn't get war. I'll be a lie. Cap. Denise is good, really good boxing, and she really good, really good fighter. She's stronger and have a powerful punch, but it's uh, one thing she not good when she punch or when she stand, she drop her hand a lot. So make opportunity for me kick a uh, high kick. What do you think of her grappling? I think it's the same skill. So uh, yeah, the same skill. Mm -hmm. Uh, how impressed, Matt, have you been with Stamps grappling over the past few years? I think it's been phenomenal, her progression. Uh, what have you noticed? Yeah, I would totally agree with you. I didn't really rate her very highly as an MMA fighter uh, until probably recently when we went to Colorado for the month-long camp there. She sparred with pretty good women that were in the UFC, ex-UFC or other organizations, and she held her own. I was like... Oh, she's good. And even with when she fought Angela Lee, who's a black belt and very, very accomplished, I was like, oh, she's good at this. Uh, I think she's developed a lot and really has shown she's a complete MMA fighter and not just a Muay Thai fighter with like rudimentary takedown defense. What do you expect from Denise, Matt? You you know her well as well, right? I mean, how good is she? How big of a test is this for Stamp? Stamp has stood up to all tests more or less so far. What kind of fight do you expect? Yeah, Denise was here at Fairtex for a couple of years pre-COVID and then uh, went her own way. I think, to be honest, I think Stamp has fought much better opponents. Uh, Denise, it, you know, as a person is great. As an athlete, I think she's a bit lazy. She doesn't really have too much to offer besides her boxing. She throws a lot of flurries, but I don't think that she'll be a real test for Stamp standing up. And with Stamp's development in her ground game, I think they are on par or I give a slight advantage to Stamp because I think her training camps have been better than Denise, who is a bit of a free spirit and moving around a bit too much. Do you relish the opportunity to throw hands with Denise Stamp? Hmm. 
Denise Lu Lublau. Yes, yes, of course, I excited. And if you were to, without kind of making a prediction, what are you really excited to showcase in, in terms of finishing? One of the most memorable, I think, was uh, when you armbarred Ritu Pogat. No one saw that coming. Is that, was that something that you'd been working on? What, what are you really excited to showcase in terms of finishing against Denise? Could not show a lie, show technique a lie, do yak finish cup technique a lie cup. I think this fight with Denise, I for sure I probably uh, for sure I use a lot more Thai this fight because she won. I think is my opinion. She want to take me down, so I have to use Muay Thai a lot. Then whatever, if I can knock out, so. Yeah, good. It's good for me. What did you think of Stamps' fights with uh, Ham Xiao He? Me? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. You know, Stamp is progressing with, with each fight. You know, I've been very lucky to see her progression over the years. And she's leveling up even with her defeats uh, against uh, Angela Lee and then the um, – did you lose to Ali? The woman with the red hair. No, when you had the red hair. Mm -hmm. She she lost that one fight and then came back and beat her opponent. I think Stamp is a very fast learner and as an athlete is really developing and her career as well. She's, you know, becoming more famous and handling the pressures of fame very well. Stamp's been on a lot of people's radar for a long time. I remember back in 2018 when she made her debut, what was it, head kick, 19 seconds. Uh, when you look back on that time when you first started doing MMA, how do you feel uh, compared with now? What, just tell us a little bit about what this amazing journey has meant to you now that you're a champion. เข้าใจมั้ยครับเข้าใจนิดนึงเอ่อเอ่อรู้สึกอะไรบ้างเวลาคุณดูอ่าโดยเอ่อ <laughs> I just think when I look back, I feel like I I improve a lot. I yeah, improve a lot. And this fight is first fight MMA pro, professional MMA first fight. But I don't use a lot MMA, so I don't know how I'm skilled about MMA. But now I feel like I go up a lot. That was so cool, though, to do that on your debut, your pro debut. It's kind of a sign that you were a star. Um, is this one of your favorite knockouts in a way? Uh, no, it, this is a bit, I think, when I fight in USA, you uh, Colorado. That is the best for me. Awesome. And... Uh, we had some interesting fights announced uh, just today, actually. Rod Tang versus Dennis Purich. Pretty uh, pretty interesting one that it's in kickboxing. Uh, what do you make of that fight? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> interesting. So I don't know. I um, don't have, I don't, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jojo Ghazali is a really exciting talent from Malaysia. Have you seen much of him? Does he? Do you think he's exciting? I am excited for him because Johan is now he go up and he have a lot of energy. He really young and I think that's why he can win. What about Liam Harrison, uh, a legend of the sport? He's been out of the game for a while, uh, and he always comes to fight. What do you think of his style? I don't know him, but I think Liam Henderson is can handle. Can handle. And, uh, is can handle is open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Matt. What do you What do you make of this card? Which fights are you looking forward to? Yeah, obviously, I am a big fan of Liam Harrison. I've seen his journey over the last decade or so. He was sort of the same generation of me fighting, and he's really done a lot for the sport. And I think this he's basically 
he stated that he's this is his last maybe fight or two and he's going to go out guns blazing for sure and he's very very exciting he usually comes in very prepared i think uh jojo is a really strong talent of ren top muay thai gym in malaysia and i think we'll continue to see his star shine it's also great to see uh some grappling on there like uh, the rotello brother uh who they're both very very nice so it's fun to see them on the card as well Stamp, what do you think of Itsuki Harata? At one time, she was touted as a very, very exciting young talent, potentially a title challenger, and she's had a tough run, a couple of defeats. Do you think she bounces back here, and, and will she be back up there challenging the likes of yourself, do you think? Hi. <laughs> I think she can come back because her opponent is not. I um, I think is she can she can beat her because uh, Victoria fight with her before fought uh, fight, fight with her before mm -hmm. so Victoria can beat her. I think I think Hila that can 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 win. How interesting is it for you that you have a, a massive fight with Denise and then? You're going to turn around and fight for the strawweight title, Zhang Jing Nan. What does that say about you? Kun ke alai ban gia gap kun mi lai gan gap Denise la ik lai gan ik sam duan kun doi Jing Chan yeah ke alai ban lu su ke lai ban. It's very good because I I know I have a fight, you know. If I don't have a fight, I'm gonna be fat too much. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a lot, and I don't have a. I don't pay attention. Like I have a fight, I gonna only eat. That's it. So when I have a fight, so it's good for me and good for my body too. Yeah. And do you feel that you two are the best female strikers in one championship in terms of mixed martial arts? Kun <laughs> kiwa. Kun Ben DT suit you one championship. Kun la um a panda camera. I think a panda is really really good uh, for me. Just I'm just them. So I think I have to prove a lot. So I'm not the best yet. How do you? Can you talk to me about how you see her as a mixed martial artist, how you see her as a striker? What do you see there What in terms of her strengths and what she's been able to achieve? I never see her do the Gao game or BJJ or something like that. I see her only striking, but she have a lot of boxing, have a powerful punt. Yeah, she could really good of uh, standing. How how big of a test is she in terms of people you faced in the past? I mean, you have a win over Ham Seo Hee, who's a bit of a legend. Is the panda going to be your biggest test in MMA? Ben Tatai Ditisu Lu Kewa Kon Un Ben Tatai Yakwa. Tatai, I think panda Tatai ma Poa no don't upgrade Kun Pai. Yeah, she thinks Panda is going to be her biggest test because she's going up in weight for this fight. And how are you finding that challenge? I mean, of course, it begins after the Denise fight, but are you excited about that? Are we going to see a, a more powerful stamp now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she she said she's definitely gonna be stronger at this higher weight, but maybe a little chubbier as well. <laughs> Are you looking forward to it? Am I looking forward to it? Or is she yeah, looking you, forward to it? Is she looking forward to it? Challenging at straw weight. It's, it seems like something that's been on her mind for a while. I think she first started talking about it way back last year and maybe before that. Uh, she was on the same card in Singapore as Panda, I think, and they were both talking about fighting each other. That was September. 
ขึ้นเต้นเกียร์กับโดยกับแฮนด์เจอรูปเปล่าตื่นเต้น I'm and yeah I'm excited but I have to forget about with the need first so yeah let after um can we talk about uh we touched on it previously but can we talk a little bit about that win over Ham because it was just epic uh can you talk about what was going through your mind to become the world champ and do it against such a decorated opponent as as Ham คิดว่าคิดว่าทําได้แค่นั้นเวลเวลเวลเวลไอ้นอกเคอร์เอาอ่ะไอ้ทิ้งจะจะจะทิ้งเลยโอ้ยแคนดูยิดเดี๋ย
Uh, we have a fan question. Is Stamp afraid of Pet Gigi? I think we know the answer to that, but I'll let you answer that, Stamp. I'm not afraid of her, but now I go, I do MMA. So I'm doing, I'm Thai person and she Thai person and she get the belt, I'm get the belt MMA, she get the belt Muay Thai. Why we have to fight for get the belt in Thailand? <laughs> Do you think that happens one day? Maybe in yeah, the future? I think, yeah, I think in the future it's going to happen if I go back to Muay Thai. Uh, what did you think of uh, Alicia Helen Rodriguez? She wants to run it back with you. Is that something that you want to do? Uh, and do you think you've improved since you last fought? I'm surprised when she called me out. Like, why is she not called Petyeja? I'm a, I'm a MMA fighter right now. Uh, like, I think. Come down, what I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I I I why do you think that was? Why why is she calling you out? To my Alicia doy gap yak doy gap kun ke alai ban. Maybe um maybe like now everyone call me like a three champion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe because she's a three sport champion. How do you deal with that? Everybody wanting to fight you all the time. Does it grow tiresome? Do you think it's funny? What's your response to being called out every week? If they can win, if you, if they win, uh, everyone gonna know them uh, and yeah when they fight with me it's mean everyone look at my fight yeah mm -hmm. and yeah who's Sorry. the most interesting fighters who's the most interesting female fighters for you right now that you either enjoy watching or that they're on your radar uh nakmoy ying do nakmoy mma ku ying kun chop titisu donny Gone, couldn't chop rose. God, my God, before, I, yeah. no, not before, I, like now too, I, I like Angela Lee for sure. And now I think I like myself <laughs> because I form Muay Thai. My backup is Muay Thai. So now in book for MMA and uh, MMA fighter cannot beat me. But yeah, so I, I love myself right now. Like I like staying fatic. <laughs> Respect. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? That's awesome. Um, look, having a look at uh, your record now, um, how awesome was it when you lost to Al Alyona Rasohinya that you came oh, back yeah. to beat her? You came back to beat uh, Alyona. What does that say about your character that one of your only losses you came back and avenged it? I can't. Uh, Alai Bang, Gia Gap Gamu, Gap Alicia, Alija, yeah, uh, Kit, Alai Bang, Gia Gap Constant, uh, and that guy, Kit Alai Bang, Gia Gap Ni, Gamu. Uh, just think like, uh, first time I, I lost, and second time I win. It's the second time I we fight in the uh, Grand Prix, so in my mind cannot lot only i have to win only that's it you fought most of the people in the top five um how is ji hin doing you guys train together a lot how's it going with her she was supposed to fight uh against sawada but is not fighting how's she doing matt uh ji hin uh suffered a knee injury uh that she's rehabbing while training so she had to pull out of that fight I think in the next two weeks or so, she'll be back to full-time training and sparring. And I think 
she's developing more in the future. Obviously, her striking is developing a lot. So that mixed with her uh, very good wrestling and grappling background should improve her in the future. You seem super busy, as we said. Everybody's calling you out. But uh, is it right to say the only person in the top five that should be on your radar is Tiffany Tio? Jihin's your teammate. You fought everybody else, or you're going to fought everyone else. So it's just Tiffany left. So is that a fight that could happen in the future? Yeah, I think it's she really good fighter and yeah, it's Manta Thai because Yeah, it's a good challenge because uh, uh, Tiffany is skilled. What did you think of her fights against uh, the panda? I think the only person on planet Earth who can beat Tiffany or has beaten her is, is pretty much named Chong Jing Nan. That's the only place she's come unstuck. Uh, you know, how good is she? Uh, panda Ben Conti Chana. Tiffany. Tiffany. Ke Alai Ban Gia Gap Ani. Ke Alai Ban Gia Gap Panda. Like Ke Alai Ban Gia Gap Tiffany Plawa Pe Con. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, Panda stronger than her, mm -hmm. then like she win. And Tiffany is really good, really, really good. But just, just uh, Panda is stronger than her. That's it. A lot of fans are really excited about uh, the return to the USA. Uh, can I have your thoughts on Haggerty Superlek? Can you break down this fight for us, Stan? Oh. <laughs> I uh, I I'm either like I share everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I share super leg too. I share Hagati. Right? Yeah, I share. Well, what do you what do you look for when you watch this fight? What do you want to see? And you don't have to pick a winner, but what are you looking for as a martial artist? What do you what do you like about these two fighters? I think so excited and it's a good fight. It's a good fight. It's a good fight. Because super late, don't give up for sure. And Hecate is not give up for sure. And Hecate gonna try to do elbow or something like like that. And super late is have a good, powerful kick. Then it's a good fight. Yeah. We will wrap up with a little quick fire, uh, something different this time. So out of everybody in one championship, uh, who is the best? Grappler, in your opinion? Okay, con grappler DT suit you won championship. Yang may me na grappler. Ta pu ying lo. Pu ying pu chai. Ah, Mikey. Yeah, Mikey. Excellent choice. Who's got the best hands? Ah, doi DT suit Clay. Doi DT suit Clay. Punch, pun mm -hmm. law. Yeah, punch. <laughs> Have a lot now. I don't know. Maybe is. Yeah, maybe no. Mm -hmm. Who's the funniest? Funny. Yeah, the law. DT sword. My lord. You don't know, really? I don't know. Maybe Ongla. Is he funny? <laughs> Who is the most annoying? Uh, Lam Khan. <laughs> Man, look. <laughs> Me? What the fuck? <laughs> I cannot tell everyone. <laughs> no, don't help. Don't help. Who would you, you most like to have dinner with? Yeah, Kin Kao, Gap Klai. Leave me alone. I eat alone. <laughs> I don't want to eat everyone. <laughs> Who, <laughs> who's the best dressed? Who's got the best style? Uh, I don't know. อ๋อคุณชื่ออะไรนะที่ไปต่อยอเมริกาด้วยกันน่ะเอ่อจะมีไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่จะมีที่ที่หล่อๆหน่อยอ่ะเอ่อที่ม
really handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. And then uh, we have uh, <laughs> who's got the coolest tattoos? Sock the two sword. Sock, we quite a hint, nah. Oh, really? Uh huh. I didn't. I didn't look. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Pass. Pass on that one. And then uh, if who's got the best fight IQ? Best fight IQ. Mm -hmm. Oh, have a lot IQ, nah. Everyone have EQ and IQ, so. <laughs> <laughs> what you sure? Oh, pam pam kewa aja tawan chai. Oh, tawan chai. Oh, you super leg, super leg, Oh yeah, everyone is good IQ. Yeah, so. yeah. Pam, can yeah. I shoot Thai person? Like, yeah, yeah. can I shoot Thai fighter or Thai fighter? It's good IQ. It's, for the sake of the game, if you could pick a name, that would be wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Tawan Chai, Tawan Chai. Excellent choice. He is a master. Um, and who would make the best movie star? Be, Elena, movie star. Chai, Chai, Dala. Oh. I think the Mercy. The Martina. The Mercy Pendala, right? Demetrius. Demetrius. Oh, Demetrius. DJ, DJ. Yeah, DJ. Demetrius Johnson. Nice. Who would you want by your side in a street fight? Cut your makeup. Yeah, I'll hide by the toy hand on the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Demetrius Johnson. <laughs> Demetrius Johnson. Yeah. He's a multi-skilled man. And, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And, uh, if you could fight anybody in any weight class, past or present, who would it be? Hmm? Oh, I want to tie fight with uh, MMA nah. I want to tie with the oh sure I like Martin Martin Yen. Uh, you would like to yeah. fight MMA with Martin Nguyen that's that's an excellent choice um guys I just thank you try to do like like a sparring <laughs> oh cool well I'd like to see I mean we saw Smilla spar with uh, Tao and Chai recently that was pretty cool um yeah. awesome guys thanks so much for joining us cup and cup appreciate it um yeah, great yeah. To be here. uh look after yourselves good luck and uh see you in thailand all the best